Hello and good morning, YouTube family, brothers and sisters. Um, today is December the, what would it be? Oh, 24th. And um, for some reason, my kitty is over there meowing a whole bunch. I'm not sure why. Um, being this December 24th, there's probably <clears throat> maybe not as many people busy watching me on YouTube today. Because the world likes to celebrate Christmas today. And my brethren who might possibly maybe watch me today and might probably be busy. Because it's Christmas. And they're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ today. Or tomorrow. Or all week or all month. I don't know. I don't know. When did you put up your tree? You know? When do you take down your tree and your decorations? If you leave decorations up extra long, you know, maybe right till New Year's to keep that feeling flowing. That's cool. Do you preach on the birth of Jesus Christ throughout them 28 days of Christmas? Just wondering. Curious. Maybe I'm just that way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just... This is unscripted, guys. Um, got this other app on um, the tablet or whatever, right? It's a uh, Bible Hub, maybe? I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. But it's a cool thing, kind of like this blue letter Bible thing that I had, but it's better. It's got a better search and stuff, but I like this one, too. But it was, it's got a verse of the day thing, which is kind of cool. We just started doing that. So, today's was Matthew 1, I don't know, 17 or something. Maybe. Yesterday's was one in Luke. Again, telling of the same time, just, you know, Luke's point of view, which was a little deeper, I have to admit. Um. Quite a bit deeper. The person I was doing the Bible study with broke trying to read it, so. And then today, it was Matthew 117, which is kind of the same area, but not, you know. So anyways, I thought, you know what? Our study was good because it pointed out the absolute... <sighs> Without, I don't want you... All y'all, <laughs> all y'all. I don't want nobody. I'm not. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just not. I'm not here to judge you. I have my personal opinions. I have my personal preferences. Um, some of you would be absolutely horrified to think that I came on here because I'm just kind of noticing now that I came on here and I made a video. I got no shirt on because it's morning and I woke up and I'm having coffee and. Then I thought, oh my goodness, I have to share this, right? So whatever, I don't have a shirt. So, you know, maybe it's that way for you guys. You think one way, I think one way. We don't all think the same. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just not. I'm not here to condemn you for anything. I'm here to share. <clears throat> and like my channel's always said, I'm church for the truth. Humble servant. I'm here to share the truth about God. I have a couple other side issues that I like to share the truth about, but that's because they pertain to God as well. But it's all about the truth. I like the truth. And I think, no, I know I believe in my mind, 100% and in my heart, 100%, that I was shown the truth about the Christmas season. I've shared this knowledge with people and I've not usually been accepted very well um, because my worldly view of your beloved holiday isn't what you say it is. 
And when I bring it up to brethren, they say, oh, Jesus is the reason for the season. And I just celebrate Jesus. And that's a good time to minister to the unsaved when they show up for all the Christmas dinner and stuff. Right on. What's your track record? You're 48. So you've got minimum 43 souls you saved at Christmas time or what? Like, I, I'm sorry, but to me that sounds like an excuse. Somebody's saying, oh, I celebrated for Jesus and then I try to save Uncle Bob when he shows up at Christmas time because like he's a grumpy guy like me, right? And so they would try to save me at Christmas. Ain't never nobody saved me at Christmas, you guys. We had gifts. Um, depending on the year. Sometimes maybe drunken arguments and sometimes no money for gifts and Sometimes, you know, everybody else got good gifts, but ours sucked, or, you know, or maybe, like always, somebody passes away at Christmas time, and then it's a horrible time, you know, and then it's because it's supposed to be a good time, but it's just a horrible time, because someone died and stuff, and, right? I mean, that's Christmas, it always happens. And there's all of the stress of the season, you know, you got to get all the stuff and like, you know, you got to get the little gift boxes too. Plus you got to get the tree, you got to get the things up, you got to do all these things, right? And then of course the tree doesn't go up right. It's broken because it's a piece of crap you bought at Walmart last year, right? Sorry, Walmart, I meant a really good tree you got at Walmart because the other piece of crap you got at the other place was no good. So you got a good tree at Walmart and then, but it broke right so then you're like oh great so now i gotta go to walmart and get another tree and stuff and then you go and start all over again right and you clean up all that mess and stuff and you just but you still gotta wrap everything but you were gonna get a little gift box so you gotta go back up get some gift box and stuff but you, you like kind of broke whatever so you just put it on the card again too right so you end up like your three months worth of work to get yourself out of debt for christmas three people said thank you one of them cared would you get oh it doesn't matter it's all about giving oh really really who did you give to specific people well the people in my family my mom of course right because you wanted them to be or they were special if they're special why wouldn't you just have sent them that thing anyway why does it have to be only for Christmas that they're special? Couldn't they just be special on Thursday? So all of those, oh, it's this, it's that, okay. It's a celebration. It's about gifts. It's about Santa Claus. It's about the Christmas tree, about the decorations, the Yuletide. It's what it's about. But do you say, oh no, we the Jesus season? Unless you actually denounce the Christmas thing, and you know, like maybe during Christmas time you focus on trying to share the gospel without any bells or whistles or decorations or ornaments or idols or any of that kind of stuff. Just Jesus. <clears throat> then you're not really celebrating Jesus at Christmas time. You're celebrating Christmas at Christmas time and putting Jesus' name on it, just like they did. Because what they did was put Jesus' name on Christmas. That's what they did. Because it's not Jesus' holiday. It's not his birthday. And it's not what he would have us believers do. In my humble opinion nowhere in the Bible does it instruct us to celebrate in any manner at all on Jesus's birthday which is why his birthday isn't on the what day was he born which day was he born you I'll tell you what 
you bring me the scripture that tells me what day he was born, especially if it lands on December 25th, and I will shut up. But Jesus Christ is my Lord. He is my King. And I feel really insulted, you know. Can you imagine how insulted Jesus Christ is? You take everything he said and you throw it out the window. And then you put all these idol worship things, pagan God celebration religion crap. Like whether you believe it, know it, whatever, it's what it is. Look up the history of how Christmas was created. It isn't a celebration of Jesus Christ's birthday, which wasn't even in December. That's pretty much proven. Most likely March. Oh, well, we know, but we do. No, you don't. There's, there's verses in the Bible tells you do not do that. Quite a few of them. Quite a few of them. Didn't like them using that gold cow either. What happened to them guys? Just saying. Jesus Christ. You want to hear the Christmas story? I'll show you the Christmas story. <clears throat> this is the Christmas story. This is as close as you're ever going to get to the real Christmas story. Just saying. And I know I look grumpy and I sound mad. I guess I am. And I apologize, sort of. I don't mean to be aggressive, but at the same time, this is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah, Savior of all the world. I think he deserves a little bit of respect. <clears throat> so Matthew, chapter 1, is the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the Son of David, the Son of Abraham. And then it's Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat. And there's a lot of begotten gets gone on, okay? Like like 16 chapters of begotten getting on. And then Jacob begat Joseph, <clears throat> the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon... Are 14 generations and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise when his when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Spirit Holy Ghost and then Joseph her husband being just a man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which she which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name, call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. And he knew her not until she had brought forth her firstborn son and called him Jesus.
It's the birth of your Messiah. And it didn't happen tomorrow or today, 2,000 years ago. It didn't happen in December. Okay? God doesn't tell us to put up things and do other things and say we're doing it in His name. This is my personal humble opinion. I consider it a blasphemy against the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would personally pray that you all repent of this because that's called change your thinking. And follow Jesus Christ and what he would have you do in this situation. Truly think about what would Jesus Christ have me do in this situation. Would he have me celebrate all of these? If you understand what you're doing, it is all based around Nimrod which is basically Satan. It just is. And I love you guys. I'm not. I don't condemn you. I don't hate you. I love you. All of you guys. You don't know. From what I read, some are just lost. That's the way it is. But I still love you. And I hope that somehow maybe... Oh, I just love you all. I'm not going to say Merry Christmas. So I hope you all have a good day. In the name of Jesus.